Hey, middle of the day, Thanksgiving. I'll try and make this one quick, but I'll try and make this one count because I know you're in between meals and loosening that belly buckle. So let's get right to it. The Cowboys and Panthers are in another pick 'em. Middle of Thanksgiving day in Dallas. What can you say about Cam Newton other than the fact that the guy is absolutely amazing, coming off one of the most impressive games of his career, and he's got to be the leading candidate this season for MVP. Not only did he set a uh, Panther record by throwing for four TDs in the, in a single half of football this past Sunday, but he threw five TD passes in total to five different receivers against the terrible Redskins team. Look at that. An African-American exploiting Redskins in the second to last week of no. November. Please don't tell me America hasn't become the land of opportunity. <laughs> that used to be reserved for white people. Look, the Redskins are a terrible team and they're about to go into Dallas and face a team better than they faced all season. Look, the Panthers are coming off their 10th game and Cam Newton has been incredible in all of them, but he's been incredible in all 10 games. They're about to travel to Dallas to face a Cowboys team that is not only used to playing on Thanksgiving Day, but are going to face a set of a few sets of much fresher legs like Tony Romo that has only played in one game in the past two months and Des Bryant that has only played is will be playing in his fourth game uh, all season. So that makes a big difference this late in the season, especially coming off three days rest. The Cowboys offense is very good and we seem to have forgotten that because why? They had Matt Castle under center and they almost won not with him, but in spite of him. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Matt Castle steers an offense like JFK Jr. flies a plane. He's always off the mark from the air and that leaves a giant hole for his boys on the ground to clean up. Look, Suddenly, Matt Castle leaves and Tony Romo comes in. And how do they look against the Dolphins defense that is pretty damn good in Miami? Amazing. You know what happened? Suddenly, Darren McFadden looked like DeMarco Murray because he had open running lanes. Of course, Des Bryant got open, but did you notice who else did? Suddenly, Witten is open on third down, just like old times. And remember the guy, Terrence Williams, who vanished because he can't be a number one? Did pretty good as a number two, catching the first touchdown pass of the game. So I really like the Cowboys in this. And just to make it interesting, did you know that the Cowboys and Panthers rank first and third, respectively, in time of possession? They don't score quickly, neither does Daddy. Call me, check out my Twitter, keeping it creepy. My point is, take the Cowboys in this and throw a little money on the under and then go get second helpings because we got a big game coming up tonight with the Bears and Packers.